Hello everyone and welcome to another speed build. Today I'm going to be building a simple suburban family home. Um, when I was thinking of like the shape and the vibe that I wanted to go for, I was definitely pretty heavily inspired by Jessica Pie. If you don't know who that is, she's a simmer. She does mostly speed builds, I want to say, on her channel and they are amazing. Um, she does like these big scale large family homes usually um, and I'm just absolutely in love with her channel she has like a great accent as well on top of like her amazing builds so yeah just a great channel highly recommend it but um, in her build she does like a lot of um, bump outs and a lot of different wallpapers that are all like similar colors but slightly different so I wanted to channel that for this build but this house is definitely a lot smaller than what she usually builds on her channel so if you're interested in those really large homes I definitely recommend um, checking her out. But right now as you can see I've pretty much finished the general shape and outline of this house and now I'm just going in picking windows and wallpapers. Um, I go through a couple of different wallpapers and I switch up which walls I want to be painted which way so you're gonna see me kind of mess around with that a little bit before I decide what I want. I even try out like a dark blue kind of accent color but I end up just going with sort of a muted gray home and then I try to like fill the landscaping and surrounding trees and stuff with some greenery and some really pretty flowers to add a little bit of color and keep it from being a little too bland with all of these grays. Overall though I really love the way the exterior of this house came out. Don't get me wrong I love the interior as well but the exterior for some reason just I don't know, I was really proud of it, so. But yeah, feel free to let me know what you think. If you think that I've achieved a nice look with this house or if you think that it looks horrible, just let me know in the comments. And um, I guess leave a comment if you want um, to request any sort of videos in the future, any particular builds you wanna see. I usually do just speed builds on this channel. Um, and sometimes I do voiceovers like I'm doing now, sometimes I don't. It's a fairly new channel, so I'm mostly just having fun and still trying to decide um, exactly how I want this channel to go and what kind of content people want to see. So definitely any direction you can give me or suggestions is greatly appreciated. As well as if you, if you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe for similar videos or just leave a like or comment to give me a little bit of help. Anyway, now I'm moving on to the backyard where I actually added a small pool and a swing set, but most of the backyard is filled in actually with just random landscaping. So you'll see me here picking out a bunch of debug flowers and bushes. I actually do end up changing them for similar bushes in kind of a brighter, more vibrant color. Just because, like I said, the house is a little gray, a little maybe bland, so I want to really bring out those colors whenever I can with the flowers. And with the landscaping style for this build, it's maybe a little overgrown, but I kind of like that. I kind of think that's fun. That's another thing that I'm maybe um, inspired by Jessica Pye. I really love the way that she does her landscaping in her builds. It's like it's like a lot of greenery, but it doesn't look too overgrown. I think it looks really nice. So I was definitely trying to channel that. Um, and these are those brighter versions of the bushes I was talking about. You see, I just grabbed those. I just thought they fit a little bit better. You know, with the landscaping, I find that I, I pick out different bushes. I put them down and then I end up deleting them and I move stuff around and I'm never really happy with it until I've messed around with it quite a bit. So I do cut out quite a bit of the landscaping process because a lot of it is just me randomly moving stuff around. It's not very interesting, but um, so if you see the, the footage kind of jumping around a little bit, that's why. I find with like 
cluttering up the inside of builds as well. I do the same thing. I'll put down a piece of clutter and then like I'll move it to a different shelf and then I'll decide I don't like it there so I'll move it back to where it was originally and it takes me like a long time to get it the way that I like it which I think is kind of silly because it's just it's just clutter really it's not like the most important part of the build but for some reason I just get hung up on that. Anyway, as you can see, I'm just layering certain types of bushes over top of one another to add a little bit of fun, a little bit of texture, adding some leaves to the pool as if like the leaves have fallen off the tree and they haven't cleaned the pool in the while. Just trying to give it a touch of realism. Um, and then I will just be doing the same type of landscaping out here in the front um, before moving on in to the inside of this build. And sometimes when I'm building homes, I like to think of like who lives here and what's the story behind these sims, um, just so I can have a little bit of inspiration as I'm decorating the build. So I'll just let you in on kind of what I was thinking these sims might be like um, as I was building this. I was thinking um, this family probably has three kids and a single dad. Um, probably two older daughters, um, one who is more academically driven, really loves like science and studying and computers and stuff like that. And then another daughter who just like doesn't, you know, she's just more about having fun and they're good friends, but they like different things. Um, and then I was thinking maybe they had like a toddler son or something. So I tried to reflect um, each of the kids' personalities in their rooms and make it a little bit messy um, or like clutter it up like a realistic family home. Uh, at least that was realistic for my home growing up, my family's home. I had a lot of siblings. I am the fourth out of five kids and our house was like always messy. It must have been a huge struggle for my parents to kind of clean up after five kids. Um, so anyway, here we are starting on the interior of this build. This is just the entryway. I'm adding a little place for the kids to hang up their coats and drop their shoes when they come inside. Um, I also add like a bicycle, a backpack, and a bunch of different clutter here. I imagine that people just come into the house and, and drop their stuff anywhere. I also just put a little trophy here as well as that picture frame with like a sports team um, photo in it in case one of the kids is like into sports. I don't know. Um, I'm also not really sure exactly what sport that photo is of. I want to say soccer um, or it might just be a group of friends. I'm not really sure but I just figured maybe one of the kids is sporty and so they drop their soccer ball in the front hall and they have like a couple little league trophies. Um, but really you could have any sims live here like they don't have to be into computers or sports or whatever I said like if you want to switch up the clutter that I've decided it's really really easy just delete the sports trophy and add whatever you like instead. Um, if you are interested in playing in this build or any of the builds that you see on my channel, um, you can find them all on the gallery. I'll have my gallery ID in the description below. So here we are now getting started in the living room. Um, and as you probably saw, I put a little fireplace here right where the um, chimney is. So that's kind of cute and realistic, I thought. But yeah, I chose this fireplace from Eco Lifestyle that's really cute, but I thought it was a little too tiny for the space, so I um, just sized it up a little bit. Um, normally you can size objects up with the bracket keys, um, but I found that it was a little too big if I sized it up with the bracket keys, so to be more precise, I used the tool mod, which um, just allows you to rotate, resize, or move objects a little bit more precisely. Um, I'm not an expert on the tool mod by any means, like I just started using it and I definitely still have trouble with it, but every once in a while if I want to do something simple to just change up an object in my builds, it comes in really handy. So I do recommend it if you are 
really into building in The Sims and you find like EA's conditions a little restricting, it's pretty easy to use. Um, and there's tutorials available online and it's, it's fairly simple. You can get pretty complicated with it. Some people are like experts, but um, you can also just keep it simple as I do. Um, but then just putting a stuffed animal, a little bit of clutter, um, a dollhouse and some kids uh, decorations and kids drawings here in the living room as well as that little game table. I thought that was a fun touch. Maybe the family could play games together and kind of just like have a fun game night. And here we are in the kitchen. I use these cabinets from, I want to say they're from Parenthood. Yeah, I think they're from Parenthood, but I could be wrong. Cats and dogs? No, I'm like almost certain these are Parenthood counters. But anyway, I wanted to have a coffee maker, but didn't really like the way that it was slotting to the counters. So I just added it to a smaller counter and kind of clipped it in and hid it amongst the other counters. So if you ever find that like a microwave or a coffee maker is just like in an awkward place, the way that it automatically places, then that's like a fun little hack you can try. And then if you have the tool mod, you can size down that counter that you've added to make it virtually disappear. Um, so as you can see, I'm just grabbing a bunch of clutter that I think might be fun, that might look cute in this space. I really love to clutter up the kitchens in my builds, especially when it's like a family kitchen. I just think that's so realistic. Like I mentioned before, my house growing up was never ever clean. So this is just a cute little realistic touch. Add some postcards there and I just used the tool mod again to size down the corkboard that they come on so it looks as if those postcards are just taped right up to the wall which I think is another fun touch. But yeah let me know um, if you are interested in seeing more cluttered builds, more like pristine and clean builds. Um, do you prefer to play in kitchens that are more empty because your sims have more space for cooking? Or do you prefer it to look fun and cluttered? But yeah, in the end, I really like the way this kitchen turned out. It's very fun. I think it definitely gives family vibes. I like that I mixed these very blue tones in the backsplash and the curtains with these very orangey cabinets. I think it just kind of makes it pop. Um, and then adding a few last touches here with a bench stool, some flowers, and a parenthood family cork board. Um, I actually have never used those in game. I love them in my builds as just an extra little piece of decoration. I think they look so fun, but I've actually never used them while I'm playing. So I guess I should try those out, see if they're actually fun. I think you can like set curfews and whatnot with um, with the family parenthood board. Yeah, but anyway, just setting up a little dining space for your Sims, as well as a little sitting area with some music and a rug. Um, and soon I'll be moving into the home office. And the home office, I thought it would be kind of fun to add a trundle bed. Is, wait, is that what it's called? What is it called? Oh my God. Like a couch bed. <laughs> you know the ones I'm talking about, the ones that came with Tiny Living right there. Yeah, I just thought it would be fun to add an extra little, you know, possible guest bed. There's not a lot of gameplay for having guests stay over at your house really in The Sims, but um, I just thought it would be fun to pretend. Or I suppose if you invite a friend over to stay the night, they can just pull out this trundle bed and sleep in the office. Um, but anyway, I'm moving on into the first bedroom. This is the only bedroom on the main floor. The other three are upstairs. 
Um, but I really like the way that this turned out. I love the big open windows and I brought in the same curtains from the kitchen. I didn't mean to tie in this bedroom like to the kitchen, but I don't know. This is just one of my favorite curtains and like I really love the swatches that they have. And I thought that it went really nice with the pink bed, so I just decided to go for it. So I'm just kind of cluttering up this room with some magazines and toiletries and whatnot. Um, you'll see I placed a mirror leaning on the floor there, leaning against the wall with just some random makeup and toiletries surrounding it. Um, that's a go-to for me, for sure, in a kid's room is just putting like a mirror on the floor if the um, sim wants to do their makeup on the floor. I think that's just like a cute realistic touch and definitely helps to fill up a kid's room. Um, I used to do that as a kid when I would, you know, put my makeup on and I didn't have like a vanity or like um, I actually shared my bathroom with like my sisters and one of my brothers. So like it was a big fight for the bathroom in the morning. So I would always just do my makeup in front of the mirror so that's just another fun little realistic touch and then i throw in a guitar maybe they like music and one of these little poofy seats that i absolutely love i think those came with dream home decorator but i think those are so fun i throw one in each of the kids rooms i think um but yeah here we are upstairs in the toddler's room um i thought of making a little changing table here, but I do switch it out for a regular toddler dresser. And then I go with the yellow curtains here. And as you can see, there's a very yellow and blue rug as well. That was kind of the color scheme that I decided to go for with this room. And I'm adding a toy box and there's that poof that I love, as well as this little robot toy which I think came with kids room stuff or toddler stuff. I'm not sure which one, but I absolutely love it. I love having like bigger toys to clutter up spaces. I love to put Blarfy as well. I don't think I've put down that Blarfy yet, um, but I absolutely love those. It's a classic for those of you who are like, what are you even talking about? Blarfy is just the name of that, um, large teddy bear that you can find in Build and Buy. And I think that I put Blarfy or another large stuffed animal actually in this room here. So stay tuned. Um, but there I go again with the mirror on the floor. That is a classic move for me. Anyway, with this room right here that I've just started decorating, I was thinking this was the other daughter's room and I was thinking that this sim was into computers, video games, science, um, and is really smart and good in school, I suppose. So yeah, I definitely gave this room almost an opposite vibe to the downstairs room. Um, it's got like a green accent and it's a little bit more toned down and slightly less girly, I suppose, but it still has those like fun girly touches now and then so um definitely let me know what you think i think that decorating kids rooms is like my favorite part of building a family home um but anyway here i am in the parents room and as i mentioned before um my thought was probably that there is a single parent um staying in this room but you can have two parents. There's definitely room. It just depends if you want to play with a bigger family or a smaller family. Um, but I am just adding the one dresser here and I only add clutter to one side of the bed. So if you want to add your own clutter to make it seem like two people are living in this room, absolutely feel free. Um, make it your own. But um, yeah, I'm just using this bed from seasons I want to say and the side tables are from City Living. So we're almost done here. We'll just be moving into the last bathroom here, the master bathroom. 
Um, and I really like the way that this bathroom turned out. Um, I love like the green accents and I love that there's just a bathtub. I know that can get a little annoying for gameplay, so feel free to switch it up for a shower if you want. Um, but yeah, I just add a toddler potty and then I'm all done here. So I hope you liked it and enjoy the screenshots.